Hey family, it's your girl Natural Chocolate here and I'm coming to you because I just recently crossed over my five year natural hair anniversary and I totally forgot to come on and do a video update. I Y'all know, I ain't gonna lie, I have, I don't even, I think I did like a couple of months update when I first big chopped back in 09 and I, I don't think I've done an update since then, maybe like a year or two years, I don't know, I haven't done one in a while, but I was like five years is a milestone, like that's half a decade, I can't even imagine going back to relaxed hair. No shade against relaxed hair, I, I was relaxed most of my life, this is five years, so don't come for me. Okay, but anyway, not only that. At the same time, across over 10,000 subscribers, woo! That's a hug. I'm getting my African export on. Okay, am I the only one that, like, when she goes hugs, I'm like, mm, like she's squeezing me, like a real hug? Okay, maybe it's just me. Shout out to AE. What's up, girl? I've been rocking with you a long time. So, 10,000 subscribers, five years natural, what, what, what? I mean, this is just a hobby of mine. Y'all know, I, I don't even consider myself a natural hair vlogger per se because I, I come on once every couple of months. Sometimes I'm consistent, sometimes I'm not because it's more of a hobby for me. Some people have turned it to career. That's cool. What's up? A, I love it, right? But, and there's more, okay? Not only did I cross over five years being natural and then not only did I hit 10,000 subscribers, but then I just completed my natural hair journal. Okay, it's called Hair Story in the Making. Can you see that? Okay, it's a natural hair beginner's got to end journal. And this is uh, the proof, but I they are all finished and ready to go. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway. But let me tell you about what's in the journal. So if you open it up, it's all in front of my face here. Okay, you see it again, Hair Story, right? the journal and y'all I designed this all myself can you believe it so it says for my crowning glory in here and then it's got a declaration in here to yourself this journal is great for newly naturals or people or people who are transitioning uh, but then it's also great for like and you'll see like if you subscribe to a like a curl box or a curl kit or something like that there's an area that's really good for that in here as well and then um, it's just it's really fun it's got a declaration to self you know about why you're going natural and it's I wish I would have had something like this to document my journey because I love videos but I don't own YouTube and if they ever decide that they want to close their doors there goes my whole natural hair journey and plus I would love to give this to my daughter when, uh, when I have one one day if I, if I have a daughter one day okay if you already have a daughter or a niece or a cousin or a best friend or a godchild or something like that um, so it walks you through how to get the most out of this journal and I love that it's kind of got this teal and green and blue color scheme and then um, anyway it's got all these fun things like are you ready why are you going to want to go natural I talked to you about getting to your roots which is fun and then also um, like options for transitioning so you don't have to do the big chop like I did or like a lot of naturals did you can do mini chops and it talks about all that kind of stuff and then this is my favorite part it gives you warnings that I wish people would have told me about when I went natural but they're good warnings okay they're, they're good warnings and let's see here oh this is one of my favorite parts how not to be a product junkie, okay? I'm trying to save y'all wallets out here in these streets, players. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I think everybody goes through a small phase of product junkieism. Some people embrace it. Some people turn away from it. I'm trying to help you go find what you need, go through that phase, but then don't do it forever, right? Because you're going to look at one day and you're going to be like, I've got $5,000 worth of hair products in my bathroom and my hair is only two inches long. Some don't equate here. So anyway, <clears throat> when you get into it, I talk about the five-step hair care process, which after years of being online and doing my own little bit of research, essentially there's only really five steps to taking care of natural hair, but there's just variations on those different steps. But the meat of the journal is <clears throat> three parts. It is a monthly, I think it's 36 months, if I were to be exact, it's a monthly place for you to document your hair so you can put a picture here you can do your length check here it's got a place for you to do length checks and then it says this month my hair is and you fill in the blank 
new things I try with my hair this month. So like new styles or new products or new techniques. If you try plopping, if you try shingling, if you try bantu knotting, if you try banding, whatever it is. And then it says my hair is making me feel. Because believe it or not, you will feel different things. Those of y'all who've been natural know like one day your hair will make you feel sassy or spicy. And like today my hair is making me feel fabulous, okay? Because this is a blowout twist out or whatever and I'm just feeling kind of fabulous anyway um so with that being said you've got you've got 32 months of that and then you go into where you can put pictures of natural hair inspiration all in the journal okay so you can cut it out and put it in here and one of my favorite sections is product review product review and I think it's 20 20 pages of products reviews and so basically you put the product here and it asks you like what's the company the website the price what type of product is it is it a moisturizer a cleanser a clarifier a shampoo a styler a gel a, a curl defining cream whatever what size is it and this is so that you a lot of times you're like what was that product i tried that one time two years ago you know i really want to revisit it um, the product claim which i think is important like what does this product claim is going to do for your hair and then that way you can evaluate it based on what it says and then uh, other possible uses like I found that some products that say oh this is a great curl defining cream aren't but they were a great moisturizer for my hair or this is a great uh, conditioner a uh, rinse out conditioner I found it was a great leave-in so you know different uses for products and uh, where to buy offline if you want to shave on sipping cross and then there's just a whole bunch of questions in here so that you can remember that I love this, that I hate it, why should I try it again, blah, blah, blah. It's a good record. And then that way when people ask you what you want to use, what you use in your hair, you kind of know, okay? And then I have a place for you to make your, to write down homemade hair recipes because there's a lot of wonderful vloggers on YouTube and on the natural community. And when I started, there were like, for, there were only like forums and then there was like Fod key or folk key or whatever the, the photo album was and there was like a handful of natural hair bloggers there was like curly chronicles there was rustic beauty there was pretty dimples there was african export um and a couple others but it was a very small group of people that were were coming to you with the realness so they all and now you've got like natural 85 and wonderful people like that sharing great homemade hair recipes and this is a great place to write it down so you don't always have to pull out your computer and I've got places for like conditioner cleansers um, and what else I think we've got moisturizers sealers things like that in there and last but definitely oh not last but not least but then I also have it here kind of a guide on if you're just starting being natural because if you're gifting this to someone because it would make a great gift or giveaway at your next like hair meetup or um, product swap or something like that it's like the essential tools list for naturals bonnets wide tooth combs dim and brush satin caps satin pillowcases duck bill clips all the kind of stuff my recommendations right there and then I talk about some great hair resources books I list some books here, um, some tutorials, social media, product companies, and websites. And I think I even gave a shout out to Curlbox and Curl Kit. But my favorite part of this whole book is the comprehensive natural hair glossary because going natural is like learning to speak another language. Okay, what the heck is plopping? Okay, and what is second day hair? People are like, what? So when you're going new and you're watching these videos, people are just talking to you. It's like they're speaking Latin. I have a very comprehensive natural hair glossary. I tried to scour as many terms as I have come across in my five-year natural hair journey. And some that I hadn't even come across but seem to be fairly popular and put them right here. So not only do they tell you what they are, but if it's its technique, it also explains the technique like plopping or shingling or something like that. So this is the journal. And then at the end it just says I did it and it's got a little summary and then this is a great keepsake so like I said great gift whatever I'm going to be giving away three of these in celebration of my five-year natural hair journey in celebration of my 10,000 subscribers some of y'all been rocking with me since before my big chop okay we go way back 
I mean, if you go back, I think I got a video where I'm celebrating my first 50 subscribers. So uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time. It is eight and a half by 11. I think you're gonna love it. And it's a real simple to enter. I mean, it's super duper simple, right? You have to be a subscriber. I mean, right? This is like common YouTube understanding by this point. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. Let me be clear, okay? Because I, you know, you gotta be a subscriber to my channel. And you just gotta leave a comment below saying, you know, how would you use this journal or if you were gonna gift it to who you would gift it to and maybe tag them and let them know that's it I'm gonna choose uh, the winners by random doc or this um, giveaway will run for two weeks from today so I'll probably need to put a date in here and uh, I just want to thank you guys for rocking with me it's fun we feel like family we kind of feel like distant cousins because I don't come on here that often but I still love y'all I recognize when the same people who comment all the time I know who you are Shout out to my internet besties in my head. Who is Sugar? Hey, girl, Tony Daly. Hi, guys. <laughs> and the boy, um, African Export. Hugs. The bronze goddess. I'm going to get you together. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, um, people that have been on a while. Curly Chronicles, Rustic Beauty, all the people who inspired me to go natural. I know I'm forgetting some people, but uh, I appreciate you guys. Some of you guys have shouted me out and help my channel grow and I am by no means the biggest natural hair channel on the planet that's not my goal my goal is just to keep it real with y'all have fun share my million and one updos that I do because y'all know my standard hairstyle is a twist out which is what I'm rocking today and uh all right family I'll see you in my next video don't forget to rate comment subscribe share like tweet it instagram it Follow me. I'm on Facebook, Chef Evelyn. I'm on Twitter, Chef Evelyn. I'm on Instagram, Chef Evelyn. I'm on uh, Pinterest, Chef Evelyn. If you're not following me, it's because you don't want to, boo. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me, and I'll see you in my next video.